Astronomy is a huge and challenging field. To accomplish all of the great observations and discoveries that astronomers make every day, we need a host of people. The incredible number of careers that are involved in making giant observatories run. With Big Astronomy, we wanted to tell the story of all of those people and the amazing places in Chile in particular where astronomy happens. We interviewed almost 30 people who had so many different jobs in Chile, from cooking food in the cafeterias where people work at, to engineers, to making sure that the telescopes are working correctly. The thing that surprised me the most about what people do at these observatories is that they live there. They spend a lot of time there. They work on these long shifts. I guess what I wasn't expecting was the kind of community of the people that was there. It felt very much like a family, and I felt welcomed into that family, and I frankly didn't want to leave. Big Astronomy was much different than other productions that we've done in the Morrison Planetarium. It's mostly photographic footage, like video or time lapse, which is something we've never done this extensively before. It's a bit more of a documentary, where it's a lot more focused around following people around and talking to them and seeing what they do. It involved a lot of learning on our part on best techniques for doing it and making it interesting, a lot of experimentation. It was a challenge getting used to working at Elevation, hoofing 80 to 100 pounds of gear up there and then setting it all up. I set a camera up at the Alma Antenna High Site at 16,000 feet and let it run starting a little before sunset into the night. And in the final time lapse, you see the shot go from full daylight to full night. And I was also frankly amazed that it worked at all. We wanted to kind of seamlessly transition from video to CG shots when we could. There's a shot where we're in the Blanco telescope and they let us go on a scissor lift. And so we got this nice kind of rising shot, which then we tracked and we were able to get a 3D model of the telescope as well. So we did kind of a transitional shot where we talk about how the telescope works and we go from the video to a kind of technical view of it. We wanted to tell the story of planetary formation. And it turns out that not every disk from which planets form looks the same. And we highlighted one, Beta Pictoris, that's very different. And in fact, very different from what any immersive visualization has tried to visualize before. We worked with two researchers who had done a simulation of Beta Pictoris. What they saw was an odd kind of warped shape in the disk, which they showed bears a lot of similarities to what they see when they look at this disk with the Gemini telescope. I would kind of try something and I would get back in touch with the researchers and say, does this look reasonable? How is that? I managed to get close to something that everybody was pretty happy with. My hope is that after seeing the show, people have a, an understanding of the work that's going on in Chile, but also a sense of the people who are doing the work Going up on these mountains and seeing the night sky really made that point clear to me of why it's such a great place to observe the sky at night.